Welcome back to Let's Play Space Quest 2 VGA Remake. This is Big Los. And yes, I know we're back by the Predator and by this landing pad. And we'll go back there, but first I wanted to be here for a second. You are at the edge of a forest. The boundary is a sheer cliff at the east side of the area. In the distance, you see a landing platform. Possibly the one which welcomed you to this strange, lush world. Because I wanted to deal with these stairs. You feel at the edge of the ledge. Nope, no secret pathway. You feel... And, obviously, I forgot to do all of the senses. So if you do the smell icon... Using the very tip of your nose, you move around the stairs until you notice a crack. Peering closely, you realize it's a mini keyboard. Now's the time for the password. Yep, the password. If you don't know what you need a password for, you're probably not going to get it. Press when you're done. Okay, and yes, I did look this up. So, if you type that in, you get to go down the stairs and into this area? You seem to be in a CD bar, Roger. Maybe you should go talk to someone, find out about it. Is that a monkey on the bar? Yes, yes it is. This looks like the bar from... Quest for Glory 1. And it looks like they forgot to... voice act most of the things in here. So we're gonna try to... do all of these senses on everybody and everything in here. And see what... dialogues come up. Oh, okay. <laughs> All bow before the mighty infamous adventures. Yes, this is an Easter egg. Is that Raven Bart from the first Treehouse of Horror up there? Poker Crow, huh? So that's the avatar that he chose to be put in here. Ha <laughs> ha. And I wish they did voice act this part. Maybe they can do it and put a patch in where they've actually voice acted it. it smells like a wolf whizzed on it. <laughs> Why would it taste like dried elephant blood? That's Gargan. He is enjoying a beer and muttering something about Sea Ego. What does that mean? No clue. Don't even try that. He's booby-trapped. Touch the suit and you will die. Is he like James Bond? Gargan already knows everything you would try to talk to him about. Best to leave him alone. He smells like cheap suit. He looks like Roger Moore. Yuck. Why do you try these things on everything you see? Because I, w I can. It's bending unit. You can't get a good throw from here. What? You can't get a good throw from here. Okay, that's a mess up. Okay, I guess he doesn't do anything. The guard seems to have heard a sound and moves to get a better look. What? Wait a minute. Wim, that was from... I guess you better find some other way to make use of the ordinance. What? Okay, I guess they... something got mixed up somewhere in the programming. Broomy. Must be another one of those programmers. With this fag, I guess that's... British for a cigarette. He's a bad man, don't talk to him. He's got one of those big poofy Rasta hats, huh, with eyeballs? It's Emperor Palpatine! And his nickname was Sinister, huh? Okay. Bad Roger. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's it's the Bartman. 
It's Raven Bart from Treehouse of Horror. Bird bat thingy? Well, you mean like Raven? What happens if we use items in here? Don't get cocky. Just because you saved the world once doesn't mean you can't die easily trying stupid things. You're only as good as your latest adventure game puzzle. Alright. This guy looks like Bruno from Quest for Glory 1. He's got a wife for that. Okay, so this guy wanted to be like one of the two guys from Andromeda, huh? So which one is that? Mark Crow or Scott Murphy? In a non-gay sort of way. Ha <laughs> ha! He'll want to lick you right back. Well, I thought he was non-gay. Don't touch the monkey. Okay, maybe that's... Oh, I don't know which guy from Andromeda is which. Sawed off, yeah. Is that like a sawed off shotgun? No, it's not. This guy looks like Indiana Jones. It's Lambonius? So these guys... Ah, I pulled a gun, just like in the Raiders of the Lost Ark. He doesn't like to be touched. Did these guys tell the animators what avatar they wanted? <laughs> smells like pigeon crap. Why did the poker crow crap on him? Hey, look, Chuckless left his baby in the bar again. Chuckless? Okay. <laughs> I hear Smurfs oh, taste really? better. <laughs> now, when I was playtesting this part, when you used... Well, when I used the tongue icon on the baby, the game crashed and it booted me out to Windows. Oh. One is the loneliest number. Hmm. It's sticky with beer. Okay, so... I wonder if there's another room here. Whoa. Did Palpatine just... get glowing eyes for a second? Oh, there is another part in here. Oh, cool. Band and everything. Are they playing the Space Quest 4 intro? That's awesome! It smells like fresh paint. The bird looks vicious. Hey, that's... the girl from... Space Quest 4, what was it? The, the latex babes of Estros? Yeah, she's from Estros, huh? Space Quest 10. Latex Babes of Estros. That was back when they assumed that they would continue making sequel after sequel and it, they would be super popular like they were, but... No, they only made it to six. Jupa Katana. He's pushing the earth down. <laughs> okay. Don't lick the band. Isn't this the music when you're in Volhall's large building in Space Quest 12? After you get into the shuttle, right before you get into the time pod? I guess so. Oh, he threw up. Yep, big night. Beat it, kid. I'm trying to listen to the band. See, now they only voice acted Musically some parts inspired, here. Inspired is concentrating on the song. Don't disturb him. I guess he's the one who did the music. Him and Zeke. 
He can't hear you over the noise. Hey, Roger. I'm Jupe. Jupe Katana. I won the cameo contest. Awesome! I know! But not as awesome as this! Jupe does a series of martial arts moves and flips. Wow, kinda like how I took out the Sarians? No, not really, Roger. <laughs> well, nice talking to you. Okay. He could ninja me badly, huh? Oh, wait, that's the drummer? Is this the Space Quest 4 Metal Remix? If so, where can I get an MP3 of it? What are you looking at, kid? Never seen a guy with big ears before. What the hell are you supposed to be? Sick fiction? Hey, kid. Why do you keep sniffing around? Because I can. Don't wanna go there, kid. Oh. Ceiling and Brainiac and the other peons in the testing dungeon. I wanna go in the testing dungeon. Oh, that other girl, that was the butch girl with the, uh... Never touch a drop. With the lake shaver. Watch out! You've made him angry. Ninja angry. Oh, can you die here? Oh. <laughs> that wasn't very scary. Say that to the table. Okay. The table has been duped. I guess. The table has... The table... The table has been I guess you can't do anything else with him. The table has... Yeah. Is there another room that we can walk into? Huh? I guess not. I guess we can't go past this trap door. Oh, it's the format sequence music! This is my favorite song from Space Quest 4. I always wanted to play this on the guitar. Now I really want this MP3. It's a masterpiece. Oh. Sorry, you don't have enough memory to view the hint book. <laughs> oh, this is the music from when you're battling Vohal in your son's body after he downloaded himself in, into his brain. That's awesome. Maybe they have this remix on the Infamous Adventures website. I'll go check. Man, this is cool. I kind of like it. I want it. Oh, man. Wait, you can't hear the music from this room? No, it's some other music that's going on. Okay, so I guess that's all that we can really do in here. Boy, that was one strange experience. I'll say. Alright, I guess we'll restore back to when we were on the landing pad. Alright, now I guess we will get into the shuttle. You climb into the shuttle through the rear entrance. That's what she said. Okay. Let's look around. It's you, Roger Wilco. I know. It's you. Everything looks automatic. The panel is loaded with clusters of system status indicators. There is a power button, an attitude dial, and an ascent thruster button. Everything look. Come on, Roger. It's not voice activated. It would have been awesome if it was. It smells like the inside of a space shuttle. More descriptive, please. It smells. Oh, it smells. Not today. I've got better things to do. 
like getting to Vohal's fortress and foiling his diabolical plans. No, you're not. You're, you gotta be licking stuff. Not today. Okay, let's turn the power on. I guess you can't really do a lot in here except you turn the power on. Let's leave it on. No, I want to turn it off. Let's see. Now you've turned the power off. We can't talk to it. The shuttle begins to vibrate as the ascent. Oh, okay, so there it's... is no horizontal control until minimum altitude has been achieved. It's all hand icons from here, huh? Click above or below the handle to move the shuttle. I guess we'll click... That's been done already. Below the shuttle? Click above or below. Because you are terminally weak above your shoulders, you guide the ship into the ground. Which is what I wanted to do. Ooh, kaboom. Way in the lay beyond. Okay. Let's try this again. You climb into the ship. You mean they don't have a safety mechanism? No, because then you wouldn't have an amusing death. The shuttle begins to vibrate. Okay, we'll set it to vertical. And then you gotta pull back on the stick. You feel the ship begin to lift off. There was a joystick, though, in the original. I like that better. Give me my joystick, damn it! You're already doing that. Uh, what? We can't do anything else. You're off the planet. Good work, Roger. Okay, we did it. A tone sounds. A soft, synthesized voice notes that adequate altitude has been achieved. Ascent thrusters are now ineffective. The screens are suddenly splashed with the incredible, horrible image of Sludge Vohal. Hello, Roger Wilco. I've been waiting for you. Once again, my subordinates have failed me. Anyway, it looks like you'll be visiting me again soon. Don't bother trying to pilot the vehicle. I have taken control. You will be arriving at my command post shortly. I anxiously await your arrival. <laughs> His image is frozen on the screens. The ship changes course as if it had a life of its own. All you can do is hold on. Nice expression, buddy. I guess it's just a matter of time now. Through the window, you see your apparent destination. Vohal's asteroid. Oh, it's very Return of the Jedi-esque. The shuttle look looking like that. The massive bay doors meet, jarring the entire vehicle bay. As you step down, the shuttle door slams shut behind you. You are quite surprised not to find several of Bohal's guards waiting to greet you. You begin to ponder what the twisted scientists might have in store for you. Oh, I can't wait to find out. Looks kind of like a Death Star. This ship has involuntarily taken you to two different locations now. You're beginning to suspect it doesn't like you. It probably doesn't. Sleek, modern, evil space layer design. Nifty. Yeah. Running your hand along the cold metal walls makes you feel like a man. Or a moron. You run your hand over the sleek side of the ship admiring its design. Nice. Yes. The danger symbol is painted on. You can't remove it. There's nothing there to take. Oh. The floors don't talk back. The danger sign doesn't talk back to you. The ship says nothing to you. Uh-huh. Open. They're not voice activated, Roger. Nothing in this game oh. is. Well, that sucks. What sort of game is this? I know, a right? Game in 1992 knockoff, Roger. So? Hi, Walls. 
The doors smell like a lot of whiskey bar. The wall smells of metal and crushed dreams. Uh-huh. The ship smells just how you think it would smell. Awesome. Didn't smell like that earlier. The yellow stripes smell like bananas. Huh. It smells like feet and bananas. Weird. Must be a lot of apes in here. The wall smells of metal. Getting down on your hands and knees, you give the floor a lick. It laughs and coos at your attempts at flirting. But alas, it does not give up its integrity. Funny. You lick the yellow sections. Hmm. Tastes like bananas. You decide against licking the black sections. You run your tongue along the surface of the ship. It tastes like someone left it out in the rain, and then it got hit by an asteroid. Also, a very subtle hint of monkey. They're apes, not monkeys. The doors taste like a peace frog. If you could taste it, it would taste like victory. It was like the smell of napalm? Okay, I guess we'll save in here. Shuttle bay. You have re Oh, give me a freaking break. Guess we gotta delete something. Okay, let's try to save this again. Alright, so let's go towards the left this time. This is a transporter tube. It sucks. Literally. We've got a ladder. A clear red tube with an opening in the back stands in the center of the podium in the middle of the room. You're slightly impressed by the red tubing. Why? Because it's red? It's more of the awesome, slick, well-lit, gray space wall. You think the guy who invented it went on to design space stations, not moons. Like a Death Star? Love in an elevator, living it up when I'm going down, in the air, in the air. Honey, one more time now, it ain't fair. It's Aerosmith. The walls aren't interested in talking. Love in an elevator. That act would lack any serious. <laughs> it smells like 80s hair metal. Oh, like Aerosmith? It smells. Even from here, you can smell the wall taunting you, teasing you, begging you to come to it. It's too far away, but you bet it tastes like nothing you've ever tasted before. Mm. Let's not end safe. Dude, this elevator tastes like Steven Tyler. More Aerosmith. Flubbing the national anthem. Living it up while I'm going down. So you can't climb down the ladder? You just need to walk there for it to work. Oh. Live it. Okay. I guess that's about as much as we can do here. What's with the tabs there? Okay, we'll go to four first. You have the funny feeling you're being watched. Yeah, I see a camera up there. The wall reads level four, and you find three tubes leading away from this area. Two of the tubes lead to hallways deeper in, and one smaller one can transport you to other floors. Okay. The walls are ice cold, and the pipes are slightly pliable. You don't want the camera. Besides, taking it would spoil the fun of whoever is watching you. That's kind of the idea. The camera seems to be staring at you. It seems, probably is. You say something rude, hoping that whoever is watching you can read lips. That was backwards. It doesn't smell like anything. Let's not. No, let's. You rub your finger along the pipes and then taste it. These rubbery but firm pipes are made from a material that keeps the interior warm under almost any conditions. But no one ever mentioned they'd taste so bitter. Ew. The walls are I- I wonder how many more hallways I have to explore. Probably a bunch. The pipes on the wall smell a bit like rubber. Uh-huh. You smell lemon-flavored floor cleaner, and not too terribly much else. Huh. You've picked an incredibly bad time for a picnic. Let's keep moving. One of these floors is going to lead me to Vohal. 
Then I'm sure I'll figure out some impossibly unlikely scenario in which I defeat him. Okay. The floor has a winter chill to it, as does the air. Uh-huh. The floor leads to two separate hallways, which... Alright. I guess that's about as much as we can do here. So let's keep going. Oh, there's a panel over there. On the one side, ice cold metal. On the other, a transparent wall that only serves to show exactly what this base is carved into. Somebody is quite impressed with their creation. This looks like Space Quest 4. The keypad seems to control the automated answering service that keeps Vohal's telemarketers on hold. Hmm. Using evil methods against evil people, I see. Only way to get it done. You punch the buttons randomly for a while. There's no lasers here? Can anyone help me refinance my telemarketer vaporizing device? No response. You turn your nose up at the monitor. Huh. It doesn't smell like you smell danger in the wind. What's that smell like? I don't know. It's a hallway, not a snack bar. Nibble elsewhere. Hmm. You activate the comm speaker and blow a raspberry at the telemarketers. In response, one of them offers you an automatic insult machine to save you from ever having to blow raspberries again for a mere several low, low payments. How much would it be? You consider the cost to your well-being by licking the camera and decide against this action. Why? The camera seems to be staring at you. It is. You don't want the camera. Besides, okay. you say something. It doesn't. Looks like it's the same thing no matter what camera you click on. The asteroid rock looks as cold as the base built inside of it happens to be. Huh. There's a wall in the way. Try something else. Are you a meteor or a meteorite? Asteroid. It's a meteoroid. Meteors and meteorites are smaller heavenly bodies which have made contact with a planetary atmosphere. Also, no response. Hmm. Smelling trace amounts of certain elements in the air, you think to pull out your tricorder and scan the asteroid rock for volatile chemicals which can be used to explode the base and send it into a decaying orbit. And then you stop daydreaming about Star Trek. Why, that's fun. Kirk got way more tail than Picard. It's regular rock, not pop rocks. <laughs> okay. So let's just keep going this way. Oh, it's the bathroom! The camera scene. Okay, it's the same. The walls show signs for unisex and unispecies bathrooms. Or maybe it means vertebrates and invertebrates. Or perhaps people who exhibit orderly responses to the Rorschach test, as opposed to people who have abstract responses to them. Alright, I gotta confess. I can't make heads nor tentacles of it. Hmm. <laughs> the walls... Alright. It feels as cold as death. Oh, that's cold. You ask the wall for a raise. Yep, same effect as asking your boss. Yeah. You ask, the walls smell clean. Let's not. Let's not. You make a few tongue-in-cheek comments about bathrooms. Okay, so it's men and... If you're going for a spot in the big book of historically bad ideas, then I gotta tell you, you're well on your way. All right. There's a little mat in front of the bathroom door. Possibly a place to wipe off any stray toilet paper or other unsavory things that might become stuck to your shoe. Oh. Ugh, you're never gonna get that slime off your hand now. Well, maybe there's a sink in the bathroom. Are you a welcome mat or the other kind? Probably the other kind. No response. I refuse to do that on principle. <laughs> the principle that you're gross and you want to do gross things. <laughs> because I can. All right, so let's save right here. What sort of messages will we get in the bathroom? Find out next time. This is Big Los signing off. Thanks for watching. See you next time.
And, as always, tango un buen día.